everybody, this is MD Anderson recording again from the Motorhome Studios and this week I've got some very exciting news. In being able to see the Dragon Eyes Your Dragon Eyes presentations uh, starting to make their way out into the world. Uh, this past week I've been able to uh, sit down with Master Williamson at Star World Martial Arts Academy. We were able to set up a time where I will be able to give the very first Dragon Eyes Your Dragon Eyes presentations. I am very excited as this is a huge step forward. They always say that the first step is the hardest step. And, and I would agree. Um, pushing this forward, trying to promote this to people uh, to come visit their audiences. It has been rather intimidating to be honest. Uh, because I've got no reference, no background. And I need a place to get started. And when you first get started, everybody's hesitant of what is this? What are you trying to do? Uh, who are you? What have you done? Uh, and sometimes it feels like that your failures have a bigger list than your accomplishments. And so when you push forward, it, it gets really hard to, to brave your way through this and talk to people about what you've done. So when you do get that positive uh, feedback and the reinforcement, it is, it's very overwhelming. Uh, and it's exciting. So I'm really excited to share that with you guys today. And I'll share a little bit more about Star Wars Martial Arts Academy. Uh, I've been able to teach their martial artists there for a, uh, a couple months now. I go in uh, a few times a week and I get the opportunity to help them with some of their tumbling skills uh, for their demo team, which is really a lot of fun to do. I'm so thankful because it keeps me in that coaching mode, uh, which has been the most important thing in my life is being able to help others. Coaching has helped me on step 11 of the goal process of becoming a mentor. Somebody who takes their knowledge and their information, their experience, and can share it with others who are at lower steps of the goal process. Uh, usually looking for mentors, looking for the education, they're researching, they're studying, they're preparing. And it helps my self-esteem when I get to do that. So for the past several months, I am so thankful that uh, Master Williamson has allowed me in to be able to do that. It, it helps me out so much. So I am really excited to be able to go in and uh, do more of that for a bigger group of his clientele and for the trust that he's giving me to be able to do this. Uh, so once I get this first one done, um, I know I'll be able to look back and say here's all the places I can improve. So even though I'm out there performing step 11, it's going to pull me back to step three or four and the goal process is a never ending process which is what I love about it. It's a reason to keep going and keep doing what you're doing. And in a couple of weeks I will be excited to show the results that I got from being able to participate in uh, their leadership program presentations. The other news is here this next week I will be launching a new campaign on the Indiegogo.com. I'll be needing that financial help to take this into schools and uh, be able to improve what I'm doing and reach a larger audience. Keep an eye on all the social media and when uh, you see it come up, please share it with all your friends, uh, share it on your uh, social media pages, and you will be able to participate in something that I believe is going to help a lot of people for the good. So I need to get that going. Uh, that's all the time I have for today. And in the meantime, I hope everybody has another great week.